Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers for PowerPoint. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate how you can make effective use of white space on your slides, particularly applying white space between bullet points. Let me demonstrate over here on a, a, a blank demonstration uh, PowerPoint slide. I've created five bullet points over here. Every time that you hit the Enter key, whenever you hit the Enter key, you create a new paragraph. So as we look over here, we have white space in between the paragraphs, in between the bullet points. We have plenty of white space down here and plenty of white space over here. My observation, my feeling is that I would be better served having these five bullet points more evenly spaced vertically on this slide. Let me show you how we can do this. First off, we want to select one of the paragraphs. Now I could select the entire paragraph or just place my cursor anywhere inside the paragraph. In PowerPoint 2007, PowerPoint 2010, come up here to the Home tab on the ribbon. Over here in the Paragraph group, we want to open up the dialog box for Paragraph Settings. So we click here on the Launcher, and now we can see that we have spacing. And this is what I'm going to concentrate on in this lesson. The default setting is that we have 0.24 points of space before. Now, there is also spacing within the paragraph. In other words, if it breaks onto a second line, the default setting is single spacing. I'm going to just touch lightly on that in this lesson. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to increase the amount of spacing before each new paragraph. I'm going to start off by increasing it to 10 points. So I'm going to click there. Now watch when I click the OK button. So you see how that spacing increase. Now a great keyboard shortcut that you can use is F4. Function 4 will repeat your last action. So you see how it applied that 10 points of space in between there. And again, let's come up here and confirm. So we'll come into the paragraph uh, settings and we see that we have 10 points. Now, maybe I'm still not happy. What if I wanted to increase that? Let's make it 12 points. Click OK and watch again the change on bullet point number five. You see how that moved down? Now let's use our F4 keyboard shortcut. F4, F4, F4. All right, so there you go. It's, it's nicely spaced. Now I want to apply this to actual stock. So I have a before and an after slide. Now these are text points that I actually made in a presentation. I'm not going to preview that part of the presentation later on in the lesson. So I have a before and I'm going to create an after. So let's take a look at how this is set up. I want to come over here onto the dialog box for the paragraph setting and you see I have my 0.24 points of space. Now I'm going to make a duplicate of this slide. I could either use the keyboard shortcut Control D or click right mouse click and say duplicate slide and over here is going to be my after. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to uh, create the paragraph spacing. Now I generally start to work on the second paragraph. I like to leave my first paragraph where it is. And in this case, I'm going to put more space before. So it, you have two settings, you have before and after, and understand that these are cumulative. So whatever you put into the before, add whatever you put into the after, and that's going to be the amount of space in between the paragraphs. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to put in 12 points of space before each new paragraph. So before this paragraph, I want to increase the spacing to 12 points. Watch as I click OK. That looks pretty good. Now let me use the F4 keyboard shortcut, F4, F4. Now two things. Number one, I don't like to use more than six paragraphs, more than six bullet points on a slide. I really don't like to write complete sentences either. So let's come back here and see how the comparison is before and after. So I'll use Shift F5 to see the before and advance the slide on to the after. Before and after. 
So you see, it's a subtle use of that extra white space in between. I'll hit Escape to exit the slideshow. Now, let me switch over here, and I'll show you how I actually apply this in a slideshow. So I'm going to F5 for the keyboard, I mean for the slideshow. So this was a presentation that I did last week to a group of uh, print music dealers down in Tampa, Florida. And I used animation for the bullet points. So these were actual quotes that I had received from people who responded to my survey. Now, I'm going to violate my rule of saying I, I hate to use more than six. You can see I've got three, five, um, six, seven. So I did use seven. Let's take a look at how I use the space in between there. So I'm going to come over here to my second paragraph. Again, I can either select the entire paragraph or just place my cursor inside that paragraph. And I could either come over here as I've been demonstrating on the home tab of the ribbon or I could right mouse click and choose paragraph to get that same dialog box. So you see in this case I used nine points. What if I were to change that and make that ten points? Let's see what difference that would make. Click OK. And again I apply that in the second paragraph F4, 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 F4. Yeah, that's about as far down as I want to go. Remember, I'm projecting this on a screen, and I want the audience to be able to see and not be straining over someone's head to see what I wrote down at the bottom. So I'm pleased with this. I have a good use of white space in between the paragraphs. Now, remember those five bullet points that I had in the demonstration? What I've done over here, instead of having those same text uh, paragraphs as bullet points, I converted them into smart art. It's easy to do. Let me come back and demonstrate. So I'm going to come back over here to the before, and I'm going to make a selection of the text over here. And notice again in the paragraph uh, group on the home tab of the ribbon, I can say convert to smart art. Now I have the most popular smart art diagrams up here. What I could do is I could say, well, that's a list, and that's the type of smart art that I want to use. Click OK. So there's another way to get more spacing, a better use of the white space, a better use of the contrast. When I come back over here to the actual slide, now you'll see how that transitioned in. So when I move on to the next one, and I'll use Shift F5 to show you how I animated those five bullet points. So there was what started out as a bullet point, second bullet point or paragraph, third paragraph or bullet point, and now they become a smart art a diagram. So those are some tricks, those are some ways that you can improve the white space in your PowerPoint presentations. It's typical of the tips that I offer on my DVD, the 50 best tips, tricks, and techniques for PowerPoint 2007. It's available for sale at store thecompanyrocks.com and I'll look for you in the next lesson.